This video is brought to you by myvayteaching.com. Activity to show convection currents during heating of water. So let us perform a simple activity in order to understand the concept of convection currents. Okay. And here we can see the path of convection currents of hot and cold water taking place during the heating of water by dropping a crystal of colored substance. That crystal, what we are going to use is potassium permanganate crystal. You can see it is placed inside this beaker. Okay, this is the potassium permanganate. So in order to perform this activity, we take a round bottom flask and we fill it with water and we put a small crystal of potassium per permanganate at the bottom of the flask. And this crystal, it dissolves slowly and it forms a purple colored solutions around itself. So when we heat the water at the bottom of the flask, by keeping burner below it and when we absorb the moment of this hot water we will see that purple streaks of hot water rise from bottom of flask to the surface of water and then sink downward near the walls of the flask as you can see in this figure the rotation is shown here the moment of this crystal and these purple colored streaks which are seen in the water of flask show the convection currents okay which are taking place in the water of flask which transfer heat from bottom to the top okay see water is a good conductor of uh, good convector of heat because this water it can transfer heat by convection only in the upward direction because hot water rises upward in the vessel so only the heat vessel containing water from below by keeping a burner at its bottom. And the heating element of an electric cator is also fixed at the bottom of the cator. Okay. And convection does not occur if the water is heated at the top. Instead of heating the water in the bottom if you heat the water at the top this convection process cannot happen if the water which is taken in a vessel is uh, heated by a burner at the top then the hot water stays at the top of the vessel only since no hot water from top can sink downwards the bottom of the vessel okay the hot water which is at the top it cannot sink towards the bottom so it will remain there only and the bottom water will remain cold only. Okay. Now let us study convection in air. See we already know air is a poor conductor of heat and in fact it's a very poor conductor. And air it cannot transfer heat by the process of conduction. Air transfers heat from its hotter parts to its colder parts by the process of convection. Okay. In order to heat air in a room during winter, we keep heater on the floor. Now, though the heater is placed on the floor at the bottom of the room, but it still heats all the air in the room. Actually, when air is heated by the heater in one part of the room, Automatically, that heated air is transferred to the colder parts of the room also. Okay. See, when the heater is uh, kept on the floor in a room and when it is switched on, the air near that heater, first that air, you can see here in this particular figure. So, the air near this heater, it will get heated up, isn't it? When we switch on that heater. And that hot air, it rises above the top of the heater. And it carries its heat along with it. And the cold air from above, it sinks downwards to the bottom of the heater to take the place of hot rising air. And this cold air also gets heated by the heater and it rises upwards carrying its heat upwards. So hot air rises. 
so this hot air rises and the cold air sinks again this air it gets heated uh, as it comes near the heater again it rises okay so this process of hot air rising upwards and cold air sinking downwards takes place heater again and again due to which all the air in the room gets heated uniformly after some time a room heater heats all the air in a room by setting up convection currents in air okay so now let us perform one more activity to show the transfer of heat in air by convection okay in for this you just fix a lighted candle on a table keep one hand at a safe distance above the flame of the candle as you can see here this hand and the another hand on the side of the flame and we'll find that the hand kept above the candle flame it feels quite hot but the hand which is kept on the side of the flame this hand it will not feel any hotness this can be explained like this which means uh, the air just above the candle flame gets heated first and that hot air rises upwards carrying the heat along with it and the cold air in the from above it sinks downwards to take take place of hot rising air and this cold air also gets heated by the flame and it rises upwards is a tip more cold air sinks downwards to take place and this process of hot air rising up and cold air coming down is repeated continuously so in this way this uh, convection current so hot air rises up cold air it comes down so this process continues repeatedly so convection currents are set up in the air above the candle flame which carry more and more heat upwards okay air can transfer the heat of a source by convection only in the upward direction as we saw in case of water same it can, air cannot transfer the heat from a source by convection either on the sides or in the downward so only this hand it will not feel any heat when we heat this candle okay only this hand which is above it will feel that heatness but not the hand which is kept in the side base because air cannot transfer the heat from a source by convection it okay either on the sides or in the downward direction only in the upward direction convection currents in air also occur in nature which lead to blowing of sea breeze and land breeze in coastal areas 